Greetings to you. Bishop Better here, your bishop, coming to you on this Divine Mercy Sunday, uh, coming up uh, this Sunday, which is a beautiful gift to the church, uh, meditating through the inspiration of St. Faustina uh, in a convent in Poland, uh, having these interlocutions and visits with Jesus, uh, and she was asked huh, to have this Divine Mercy Sunday. Uh, and Pope St. John Paul II uh, put it into the calendar uh, that first Sunday after Easter to uh, take great confidence and trust in the mercy that God has, that his, his mercy is everlasting. Uh, and it's like a red-hot furnace, huh? Our drops of water, in a sense, our sins uh, don't have a chance uh, in that furnace of divine mercy. Uh, they evaporate before they even get there. It does not cool his merciful heart to see that Jesus uh, has a heart that's pierced out of love for us. And that piercing pours out blood and water, uh, sacrament of baptism, right? Uh, the Eucharist, the places that where confession, where we experience mercy. So on this Divine Mercy Sunday, an encouragement. Uh, if you haven't ever prayed the Divine Mercy Chaplet, look it up. Divine Mercy Chaplet, and they'll tell you right how to do it, right there. But it's, you use the rosary beads, and it's quite simple, and it's just beautiful. It's acts of prayer and praise uh, for the mercy that is ours uh, because of God. Know my prayers. Pray for me, and uh, deepen your devotion to the Divine Mercy Chaplet uh, as a reminder of his love. Bye now.